Hi, it's Dr. Gorzinski. I'm here to talk to you today about one of the biggest mistakes I think people make following knee replacement surgery. What is the mistake? It's finding a reason not to stretch or perhaps not to stretch appropriately. Now this can happen for a variety of reasons. This may be due to a bit of a delay before formal physical therapy can be started. This seems to have gotten to be more of a problem since COVID and the staffing shortages that we've been noticing. But sometimes it does take a little bit of time for patients to get into formal physical therapy. I have a website and I have a variety of videos on this channel that explain exactly how I recommend stretching. And I think this is a great resource for patients. And truthfully, the most important person to be involved with knee replacement rehab is the patient themselves. So even when patients do have a little delay before starting physical therapy, they should definitely not delay starting their stretching exercises. Those exercises should have begun right in the hospital and they should be done on a daily basis. I have a variety of other videos where I explain how to do this. Sometimes patients report a recommendation from physical therapy that doesn't make much sense to me. For example, don't stretch if it hurts, or wait for the swelling to come down before you stretch, or only stretch for a few seconds at a time. And really none of these make much sense because a knee is expected to be somewhat painful after surgery. It's gonna swell, it's gonna be sore, it might be discolored. But these are not at all reasons that patients should delay their rehabilitation. A patient only has about six weeks following surgery to regain all of their range of motion in a predictable manner. And so any delay that happens, particularly early on after surgery, will only compromise the results. It gets more difficult as time goes by to regain range of motion. And so really any delay can be very detrimental. I think it's normal for patients to be somewhat anxious after their knee replacement and they're afraid they may hurt it. So when their knee swells up or it hurts when they stretch, the natural tendency would be to stretch less or less frequently because they're afraid of causing any damage. The problem with this is that, as mentioned previously, any delay in stretching will compromise the result. So this is really something that needs to be avoided. Many patients work very hard on exercising their knee following knee replacement surgery, but they might not be doing exactly the right moves. For example, they may be going for long walks, which is perfectly fine, but walking doesn't require very much range of motion and it certainly will not force deep flexion. They might be spinning on a bike, which also is fine, but won't really optimally regain range of motion. So I think it's crucial that patients avoid the tendency to find an excuse not to stretch or to do additional exercises that overall are beneficial, but don't specifically focus on range of motion. Stretching must be specifically focused on during acute knee rehabilitation. That really is the first six weeks following knee replacement surgery. And during this time, I would recommend stretching as frequently as possible for as long as possible until knee range of motion is truly optimized. That might be 10 minute sessions multiple times a day. That might require a half an hour or even an hour of stretching multiple times per day if your knee is particularly stiff. So unfortunately, every patient doesn't have the exact same experience. Some may need to stretch more and some patients may have a really easy time and find the rehabilitation effortless with only a few seconds of stretching, but I would consider that patient to be very rare. So again, I have recorded a variety of videos showing how to rehabilitate I also have a website, which will be linked below, where I describe how I recommend stretching. I have pictures and links to help patients feel supported through this process, which certainly can be unpleasant and stressful. So I hope this helps. If you have questions or concerns, please post a question or comment below, and I'll try to address them. And uh, thank you for your attention, and best of luck rehabilitating your knee replacement.